Hello there, Jennifer Roberts here with another tutorial video on using X-Plane 11. Today we'll take a look at the network settings options. This video was recorded in X-Plane 1125B1. X-Plane can be configured for multiplayer, external visuals on another machine, and for using other apps with the SIM via this network settings screen. Let's talk about each option in a bit more detail. X-Plane supports multiplayer with up to 19 people over a local area network. This means, for the most reliable experience, you and your friends should be on the same Wi-Fi or Ethernet network. Everyone must also be using the same version of the SIM. Please note that at this time, X-Plane does not support multiplayer over the Internet. Then click this button to add as many players as desired. If the other people are already running X-Plane, you should see their computer in the IP address drop-down. If not, you can enter their IP address manually in the second box. In general, you should not need to change the port number, and you can leave the machine's role set to master. Increasing the rate of transmission per second slider can be useful if you notice lagging or stuttering in the other player's planes. When you return to your flight, you will see the other aircraft and will be able to chat with the other players by using the Enter key. Next up is External Visuals. This option is used to network multiple computers together to run the same flight. Remember that you will need to have an X-Plane license for each machine used in the network sim. Here we have two options for the external visual machine, locked and independent view. Only the master machine can adjust the view in locked view, while, as you guessed, the external visual machine can change their own view if they are set to independent view. For either type of view, the setup is nearly identical to what we did earlier. Since I already have a second machine running X-Plane, I can select it in the drop-down here with no need to adjust anything else. The master machine should have its role set to master, while the other machines should be set to external visuals. Expand this section for iPhone, iPad, and external apps if you want to use X-Plane with a mobile app such as Xavian, ControlPad, or one of the many other apps that can network with X-Plane. Use the Xavian or FlyQ button if you are using an app that needs AHARS or ADS-B positional data from X-Plane. Again, if this app is already running, it should appear in the drop-down, or you can manually enter the IP address for the device running the secondary app. If the app receives AHARS data, you have two options depending on how many devices you're using. If you're using multiple devices to run multiple different apps, check this first box to broadcast X-Plane to all of them. Check the second option if you're only using one device, then pick the device or enter the IP address as before. If you're using ControlPad as an instructor operating system to remotely change your flight setup, check this final box here. And finally, if you are using an app that sends and receives UDP data, expand the UDP port section to see the default port numbers or to edit them. And don't forget you can always use the Reset Networking Configuration option to quickly undo any changes here in this screen. So those are the basics of setting up networking in X-Plane 11. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.